This podcast is brought to you by Optimum Design Associates. Check us out at www.optimumdesign.com. You're listening to Outsourcing Things You Should Know. Information, opinion, and some occasional attitude about electronics outsourcing. Hello and welcome to Outsourcing Things You Should Know. I'm Everett Frank. And I'm Sherry Hubbard. And Rob is in the control room. Keeping hey, Rob. everything just so. Sherry. Yes. Have you been shopping lately? Not food, something else. Have you bought anything recently? Yes, I have actually. Uh, Mama wait, needs a new pair wait, of shoes. Okay, shoes. <laughs> Without getting too personal. <laughs> you bought some shoes. How much did they cost to make? How much did they cost to make? How much did they cost to manufacture? That's a good question. You I would have know? absolutely no idea. no idea. I know I paid fifty-six dollars. So you bought them based on their value to you. Yes. Mm-hmm. You paid. You paid based on value. Mm-hmm. You didn't say, "Hey, uh, they only cost you two dollars to make, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm only gonna pay you three dollars." That's right. Right. Well, value and comfort. Value. <laughs> That's right. You bought. You bought them. On. But <laughs> you didn't base them on cost. Right? No. No. Now, what if you were going to, uh, let's say, remodel your bathroom? As an example, right? Now, mm-hmm. you might be able to do that yourself. You could do that. I could do it yourself, but you could probably do that yourself. Uh, and if you were going to uh, want to change your toilets and your mirrors and your faucets, mm-hmm. you could potentially go find out what that is. Absolutely. Right? Uh huh. And so you would be able to then say, hey, there's $500 worth of material, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then you'd want to know what in addition to that. Right. right? So that would be what you would call a uh, time and materials quote. Something like that. TNM, right? Right? also right. known as TNM. So in contract manufacturing, that's the kind of approach we take. We take a what could also be called a cost plus uh, approach right. to pricing. That's mm-hmm. the common, common method. Uh, so we don't price it based on value. We don't say, here's your circuit board, what value is it to you, mm-hmm. right? Right. And this really stems from kind of where contract manufacturing comes from. Much like uh, the, uh, having somebody remodel your bathroom where you're contracting someone as an alternative to your own label, labor, in contract manufacturing, we are supplying manufacturing service as an alternative to the OEM building it themselves. That's correct. Right. Mm-hmm. So their natural question is, how much more am I paying than what my cost would be. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's sort of generally why this model prevails in, in contract manufacturing is this this general approach that we call cost plus. And it has lots of good effects too. I think in many ways too many OEMs get too far from it and they they actually don't try to understand their costs well enough. They mm-hmm. try to just go get a price from a bunch of contract manufacturers and say, okay, that's that's my cost. Right. And really they should understand it at a lower level. But that's a subject of different podcasts now, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so when we get to, um, uh, to, to talking about cost plus in contract manufacturing, um, uh, the, the, the big issue is to, um, is to understand your, your, your basic costs right. and then apply margin to those. Okay? That would so be there's a kind of a little bit of um, meaningful terms there. So the first is to understand your bill of material cost. In most cases, that's going to be eighty plus percent of your of your of your of your pricing. That's absolutely right? correct. Uh huh. And that's fairly straightforward to mm-hmm. understand. Um, not everybody puts the effort into understanding their their bomb cost. But the other part then is understanding the labor cost. And um, so uh, to understand the labor rates that we use, these are actually what are referred to as burdened labor rates. Mm-hmm. So that's a kind of a, uh, an- another meaningful terminology. And what almost all contract manufacturers universally do is we burden our labor rates in order to apply our overhead and fixed costs to the product. So that's-, that's Say that one more time. Yeah. <laughs> heavy <laughs> subject. So burdened labor rate is how contract manufacturers apply our fixed costs to the product. Excellent. So um, we so in North America, as an example, mm-hmm. the burdened labor rate is $39 and change, uh, the average in North America. So right. let's call that $40. So uh, that's the average burdened labor rate. So the burdened labor rate is the value of direct labor, which is the uh, direct labor cost from the floor. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus uh, an allocation of fixed costs, the lights, the heat, uh, but more importantly, 
um, the upfront office personnel, the, mm -hmm. uh, the overhead personnel, your purchasing department, uh, uh, your customer service groups, mm -hmm. all these different things. Program management. Program yeah. management, right. So they all get priced into the product via the burden labor rate. Understood. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So um, if you had uh, an item that had $500 in material costs and took one hour on the floor to build at $40 average, mm -hmm. you'd have $40 of, of labor would be presented as the cost. So combined, your cost would be $540, mm -hmm. and then you would mark it up from there. So a really great resource if, you're, if you really want to get deeply into this. Understanding burden labor rates is a, is a, is a complex project. And um, if you really want to get into it, a great resource is Charlie Barnhart Associates. They do a seminar. I think they call it Outsourcing Navigator. I believe so. Something like that. Uh, Rob, do we have a website for Charlie? That we do. It's www.charliebarnhart.com, and we will have the uh, link for you in the description. So it'll just be right below this this player. Right okay, now. so we'll put a link to Charlie. So they do a great seminar. Generally, quarterly, they go into two days worth of detail about mm -hmm. how to, and they give you tons of data worldwide about it. It's a great, great thing to do. Wow. But Sounds anyway, understanding wonderful. that burden labor rate is, is a complicated thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the other thing that we see confusion about once you get your cost um, is uh, the concept of margin versus markup. So, uh, Rob, can we put a link to that, too, at the end? We've got another yeah, article on that. that. We can. We've got a blog post on this. This is, har this is harder to describe verbally. You kind of want to see the math. It really is. Uh, but they're different. So margin, you are going to, uh, you, you are going to divide uh, 1 minus your target profit margin, and you divide that in. So I'll, I'll describe this verbally, but you probably want to see the article. <laughs> so um, if you have a, uh, a product that costs... Uh, $540, and you want to do it at a 25% margin, you are going to do 1 minus 0.25, which equals 0.75, and you are going to, you are going to divide 540 by 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and that will net margin. Mm -hmm. Now, that stands in contrast to markup. So some people confuse that and say, uh, okay, I'm going to apply a 25% markup. markup. Mm -hmm. And now in that case, you would take your $540 and you would times it by 1.25. And if you do the math at home, you'll see those come up with different numbers. Absolutely. So, contract manufacturers use the margin calculation and, and almost without exception, don't use the markup calculation. Mm -hmm. All right? So that's how we do it. Contract manufacturing, cost plus. Excellent. Thank you so much, Everett. Wonderful. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Sherry. Wait, uh, we wait uh, till next time. So there you have it. That's our show. This podcast is brought to you by Optimum Design Associates. We're online at www.optimumdesign.com. You can also stay up to date with the latest episodes on Twitter at Optimum EMS. Our show is produced by Rob Frank with additional support from the Optimum Design Associates staff.